all sorted now. So this is the um, final lecture of the uh, day, which is a very nice lecture because it's a public lecture, and I'm pleased to see some, some members of the public, who've, who've, or at least of the university, who are not in the Pathological Society who've come um, to hear this lecture. And it's also very good for members of the Pathological Society because although you know, we're not purely doing pathology for intellectual stimulation, we do want to do things um, that make a difference to patient care. We're somewhat removed from patients by the very nature of our work. And um, it's, it's very good to have Professor Shaw here to give us a lecture about the relationships between patients, the public, and biomedical researchers. And there's no person better to do it um, Professor Shaw is Professor of Neurology at the University of Sheffield and also Director of the Sheffield Institute for Translational Neuroscience. She's been here just over 10 years, having previously been Professor of Neurology at the University of Newcastle. And her career has focused on degenerative neurological diseases, especially motor neurone disease. And uh, she has a phenomenal uh, total of career research funding of over £44 million and a team of 40 people in Sheffield um, working away on degenerative um, neurological diseases. So we'd be very pleased to have her to speak to us tonight uh, about the relationship between patients, the public, and biomedical researchers. So it's a, it's a great pleasure and honor to be here. Um, as a, as a neurologist, I am married to a neuropathologist, so I have great uh, empathy um, with, with pathology during my career. So I guess the reason that Simon and Mike asked me to um, speak at this public lecture is, is to tell the extraordinary story of the creation of this building. Um, so CITRAN, the Sheffield Institute for Translational Neuroscience, and I'm going to tell you a story that will include fairy godmothers, knights on white horses, and all sorts of things. Um, it's, been, it's been a very interesting journey to create this, and, and what a positive um, development it's been. So in the next 40 minutes or so, these are the things I'll go through. Just talk about the vision uh, for the Institute, first of all. Um, the Citran project and, and what it ended up creating, how it started, which was really a chance encounter, the uh, total adventure of, of the fundraising that went on to raise the money for the building, then the, the, the actual building works and its opening by the Queen in, in November 2010, and then just at the end, um, highlight from a personal perspective really what, what I think the benefits of that development are in terms of research, the university, the city of Sheffield and just some personal reflections on the ingredients for success of such a project. I have to say if I was starting it now I'm not sure I would dare do it but having got there uh, it, it, it certainly has been very positive. So the vision uh, behind the creation of this building was to create a world-class research institute dedicated to advancing the understanding of the causes of motor neuron disease um, and translating that knowledge into improved therapies for patients. I didn't call it a motor neuron disease institute because we have some very talented people that work on Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's disease, other neurodegenerative disorders, and I think the MND team can, uh, can learn from those other groups. So it's, it's about neurodegenerative disease more broadly, but I'm particularly interested in motor neuron disease, and I became interested in it as a trainee in neurology in Newcastle because I thought it was the worst disease in medicine. And uh, we seemed to know so little about it, we did very little to help uh, patients or families facing that terrible disease. Um, and so from a sense of discomfort, I used to dread getting a set of notes in the clinic from a patient with MND. Uh, I decided that maybe we should uh, try and do something more about it. So from my perspective as a neurologist, it is one of the worst diseases in medicine. 
It's an orphan disease. If patients lived longer, they, it would be as common as multiple sclerosis, but it's relatively uncommon in the population because it is so rapidly lethal. So, so most patients die within two or three years of the first symptom. Because it's not common enough, major pharmaceutical companies aren't going to make it their primary um, project, so you have to find sideways um, uh, methods of getting them interested in it. But I think now is the right time to make a treatment breakthrough. I think the tools of neuroscience are there if we can harness the resources required. So when you're setting out to do something like this, it, it helps if you have an interesting sort of problem. And I think you'd all agree that the nervous system is interesting. 